back to uh, Pikmin 2. Pikmin Dose. I was gonna say that, but I thought that saying Pikmin Dose is just the most funny, uncreative joke I've imagined. You know, it wasn't a joke, it's just, you know, I'm looking out for our Spanish viewers out there. Well, I'm not looking out for them, you know, I gotta look out for myself. Because we right don't now. do, we don't have our dub channel up yet, right? No, we don't, unfortunately. See? Good morning, workers. Really, for another day of toiling for the profit of your company. The Pikmin seem to still be asleep inside the onion. What lazy creatures. No wonder they lack survival skills. Stand by underneath the onion and press to call them out. Uh, it should be a pretty easy day. You know, this is technically still like the first day, even though it's day two. Ooh. You know. Just me raising my numbers. Just yeah. uh, what do you say that? Uh, so Darren, what what makes Pikmin 2 your favorite game of all time? We haven't gone to that specific point. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's like a little bit of setup, huh? Yeah. We make sure you know how to play the game, and then we and then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when was when did you decide Pikmin was your fa Pikmin 2 was your favorite game of all time? I think it's whenever I played it. Oh, okay. And I just haven't found a game that has given me the elation of playing Pikmin 2. Really? Yeah, yeah. There are games that, uh, that have come close, of course. Like what? Uh, Elden Ring. Okay. Uh, Mario Odyssey. Uh,. And of course, some of my like in my top five, which uh, Zeno Black Chronicles, Persona Five, uh, Shadow of the Colossus, uh, uh, Majora's Mask. But like, you know, Pikmin Two is still on the top. It's still like the king. I think so it's just if you play Super Smash Brothers, you playing with Olimar? Oh god, no. Almost sucks. Yeah, he sucks. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's absolutely terrible. There are no strategies with him, but, like, no. Yeah, who's your main in Super Smash? Uh, Snake. Snake. Yep. My main is Snake. Because, uh, because Brawl was my first Smash game. And, uh, I main Snake in that one. So when mm. Ultimate came out. Uh, Smash 4, I, like, I couldn't find my own main. Like, I, like, moved around, you know. One day I would be, uh, Bowser, one day I'll be Pit, one day I'll be Meta Knight, one day I'll be King Dedede. Wait, you know? like, the most recent one? No, uh, no I'm talking about Smash 4. When Smash 5 it? came out, because Smash Ultimate came out, Snake was, you know, part of the roster, so I just played Snake. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, on, boys. Slap. That's the wrong button. I thought you move the Z button there. <laughs> Such a fucking Such a fucking one, you know? <clears throat> so the next bit of product press when you said was going to be Lego. Or, uh, or, uh, Tampax, but. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I forgot about the product place we yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Hilarious. It's not going to be 10 packs, unfortunately. Uh, but Lego's not a bad idea. Lego? Yeah. yeah. I mean, something like that, like a toy makes sense, you know, like it's a kid, you know, a game, they're marketing towards kids. You know, the Wii, Lego, Lincoln Logs, <laughs> <laughs> Connects. I'm trying to think, Moon Sand, what was big back then? Uh, uh, is there a damn Fushigi ball in, in this game? Remember the Fushigi ball? No, I don't. Yeah, it was just like this translucent ball with like a ball bearing in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. And pe people on the commercial could like make it look like it was levitating through their hands. Oh, I think I got yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 but it was a total scam. It was just a glass ball. And my brother got one for his birthday and we were, I was like, dude, you're like the coolest person I know now that you have the Fushigi ball. We quickly learned that it's impossible to play with, and then he ended up getting it uh, stuck inside of a barrel of monkeys. 
That's not where it goes. Yeah, he just stuffed it into a into a barrel of monkeys, and we could not get it out. Like we would throw it, like slam it against the floor and everything, couldn't get it out. So we just had to throw the whole thing away. Ridiculous. We right. actually kept it for a long time. Here's a chance for the Pikmin to die. Okay, good. Get these guys on there. Get these guys on there. Okay, no. Get that. Okay. So, so remind me. Uh, they're oh, they're looking for trash, right? Because right, looking for treasure. Trash, right? Which yeah, is trash. Yeah. But in their world, it's worth a lot. Yeah. It's so what's right, right. the idea? Like, obviously they're like su a super tiny, highly advanced civilization. Yeah. They're just floating around on a planet that's itty bitty and they're itty bitty and Earth just happens to be big and we're bigger. Oh well, yeah, there are planets out there that were yeah. like hundreds of times uh, larger than Earth. Right. That I believe there were some that are like even habitable. Uh, that were like much larger than Earth. Right, right, right. So like their world is like probably as big as like their planet's probably as big as like Missouri. Yes, probably. So you're gonna compare it to like Pluto. But then again, I don't think you know the exact scale of Pluto if you haven't been there. Right, but I mean they're so small though. Tiny, yes. So they gotta be on like a very small planet. Or it could just be a very large planet, you know, and... And they're really, yeah, I guess. I yeah. mean, yeah, I mean, maybe the bigger the planet, the smaller you are. Wise words of wisdom, Matt. <laughs> I shed a tear. <laughs> Alright, there's a treasure up here. Let's go. Unfortunately, it's not quite a good from what I remember. Shit. Oh, they got them all. Good job. Oh. Um. How could Pikmin destroy such a massive wall? When mass, their mind is ferocious. Glory! Did Alamar instruct you on proper Pikmin commanding protocol? Apparently not. Alamar! You are falling in. You are failing in your duty as a superior. Allow me to explain. Press A to grab Pikmin and release to throw them. Call them into a group with Wait. Press kick to disband the group. Point at the screen and press down on UL to issue orders. Press down on UL to swarm Pikmin on treasure and enemies or make them march in a line. Right. this. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, energy drink. Yeah, we gotta show kids. Some Apparently, they drink. hike up to 250 milligrams in the uh, apocalyptic future. Oh, is that all I can carry it? <laughs> Alright, I don't know. I mean, it just seems like a can from a Japanese vending machine, which you know, there's uh, a, a vending machine in Japan for every uh, dog, I guess. What? Yeah, there's a lot of vending machines in Japan. That's a true stat. Yep. They what? must not have a lot of dogs. Yeah. Quite a lot of dogs. Oh. They have more cats than people. Honestly, there should be more vending machines in the world, you know? Like, just... It should be. I mean, like, Japanese vending machines literally have everything. So, like, you can literally just get soy sauce from a vending machine. <laughs> if you need it. Right. Yeah, I mean, hey. Because you need some soy sauce, you can just go to a vending machine and get it. I do scrap. That's a face. Oh. What? 
Now we're getting to the best part of the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. The reason why I like it so much. Okay. Because it, it allows a level of strategy. A lot mm. of, uh, you know, that these games don't really allow. Okay. Uh, because if you find a strategy with Pikmin 1 that can get you the best time, you're going to stick with that strategy. Uh huh. So we're going to add a, a level of randomness to it. <clears throat> right. Adding a random levelness allows you to improvise and make new strategies. Interesting. Warm air is welling up from the hole in the ground before you. What could it? What could lie underground? What is wrong? They both show expressions of unease. Do not fear. The leader's group of Pikmin will join you. I shall dispatch my research pod to. Approaching, approach the hall and press to jump in. We got caves. This is the emergence cave. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, this Sorry. one's a bad example because it's the same. <clears throat> but uh, most of these caves are randomly generated for most of the floors. So I don't know what I'm gonna get. Uh, I believe the enemies are the same, but like the structure of the cave is different. So there are like different ways I get to approach it. Intriguing, my <coughs> heat sensors indicate that this hall's interior is warmer than on the surface. Analysis suggests danger lies ahead, but the promise of treasure is tantalizing. If you wish to check underground terrain, press uh, to communicate with me. I am not just a ship. I am an all-purpose support pod. Let me know how, what else could we do? Get off for me. Oh, bit of product placement coming up. Oranges. Not a place. Oranges. I don't think I'm talking about orange. Is there like a tangent name? Or is it? What is it? Uh, Clementine? Clementine, yeah. Uh, this, this, this. Oh, we got a seven up bottle cap. Seven, seven up. Ooh. Who the hell drinks seven up? Emblem. This is like the starry thing. Starry's everywhere. Get a starry with your KFC meal. <laughs> Get a starry at every gas station if you buy that gas station's meal combo. Get a starry if you sneeze in the morning. It's starry this, starry that. No one likes starry. Same with seven up. I think that seven up is better than Sprite. Well. Honestly, I don't even really like Sprite. <laughs> As a man who has had many surgeries, the recommended trick mm. to give you is Sprite. Uh, they're like, do you want yeah. water? I'm like, of course not. What am I here? Water, I Sprite, apple juice. Yeah. Citrus lump. Okay, it is orange. Yeah. When you hear that noise, that means that there are no more treasures on this floor. But what happens if I carry an a animal, a, car a carcass here? How can you possibly consider this beast a treasure? Beasts are incompatible with my circuitry. I suppose I will store your finds in my hold. But I do not think beasts will be worth much. Which I find that kind of odd logic. If you find like a, a new species of creature, they're going to be worth quite a lot. You know, there's yeah. a lot of like... Uh, plots of films that are just based on like capturing new animals and like For selling sure. them. This hole appears to be quite deep. My sensors indicate more treacherous terrain ahead. Louis, you do not recall that you can. I do recall. You do recall that you can adjust the camera with and up, left and right on you. Correct. Your expression suggests you do excellent. Don't worry. All your Pikmin will follow you. Approach the hole and press uh, to enter it. Oh. 
Do not threat a threat, okay? Mm. Even though I don't have my Pikmin with me, I can still go into the hole and all my Pikmin will just teleport to me. Mm. Good night. I know, I know you were worried <laughs> that all my Pikmin will die if I don't have them with me when I go down to the second floor. Sub-level 2. Final floor. Okay. Caves are much larger than this, but this is like a tutorial game. Right. Globe. Let's carry this treasure over here. So it's confirmed it's Earth. America. It's inconceivable that such an immense object has been buried here for so long. The design on the outer shell resembles the surface of the planet as seen from space. Perhaps this can be used for something other than salvage. But how will we ever lift it? I fear that even 100 red Pikmin will be unable to lift it. It's a bit ridiculous. We can only have 100 Pikmin. 101? My god. How's it even possible? They soft locked me immediately. Game designers are fucking idiots. So you have to like come back down and get away well, I can't have a hundred pick Oh, yeah, okay. Kill him. Okay. What else we have? Um, violet. Candy pot buds. Mm. <clears throat> Astounding. A flower blooms in a cave deep beneath the snowy landscape. Clearly, it is warmer down here than above. Look, the Pikmin are restless. They look as if they yearn to be tossed into the flower. Alright. Damn. Put on my head. Oh, what are these? Whoa. They're kind of creepy. These ones? A little creepy. Amazing. A purple Pikmin. It has hair. It is quite stocky. It seems very heavy and strong. This kind of Pikmin was not mentioned in your report. Alamar, it must be an entirely new type. Transforming Pikmin by tossing them into flowers. Intriguing. Perhaps there are others? Hmm? This game is regarded as very difficult. Uh, I don't think so, because of with these purple Pikmin. Uh, they are insanely overpowered. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, in fact, I probably would not take an engagement against the enemy without them with me. Mm. Uh, because they just make things so much easier and also they compensate this by, you know, making the game very, very difficult. Uh, but, you know, I know how to control these people. I know how to do it. I, I know how to play the game, you know. Right, right. Yeah, so I don't think I'll have any trouble at all. Let me leave up there and go all the way Cutscene, which is a guys over here. What's the British say? It? They're geezer. Do they say geezer? Yeah. What? British people say geezer. Really? I'm talking about geysers, yeah. Fucking dumbasses. Fucking idiots. They're fucking idiots. I mean, we say fucking herb, and they say herb, which makes a lot of sense to say herb rather than yeah, herb. Yeah, why do we say herb? That's so stupid. I mean, they're usually the ones who are dropping stuff. You know, oh, yeah. hello, not <laughs> hello. hello. And we're like, well, we'll we're gonna choose well, one. Spell. We're gonna choose one word to actually drop the H. Herb. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Spherical, spherical elements. There is a device resembling a microchip embedded inside the sphere, retrieving data. Error. Error. I could only decode a portion of the data, but I did retrieve new geographic charts. 
I will input this data into my planetary database and name it the severe chart. Press U to contact me and go to the exploration kit on the radar screen by pressing left on U. Now that we have this new data, you should explore the decoded territory tomorrow. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was a geezer? Outstanding! Water is shooting out of this geezer with incredible force. It's almost like it said astounding. Yeah. Sensor <laughs> <laughs> indicator has enough power to launch you into the air. Approach it and press to try. A butthole. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, shoot. Zero deaths. Zero deaths. You think I'm going to go do a no death run? No. <sighs> okay, well, fine. You talk about how hard the game is. Yeah, but this is my favorite game of all time. This game, I have a lot of hours. I wish they had dramatic cutscenes every time a Pikmin dies. <laughs> like, all of our just like, you know, ball in his eyes. Oh, what the? I... <laughs> well, I would think like, like at the end of the day, you'll go up in the ship and it would be a cutscene within the ship. And it's like interstellar. <laughs> yeah. Matthew McConaughey's watching the transmission and he sees his daughter grow up. Just. <laughs> Just watching the Pikmin die and how you killed them. <laughs> Read! Oh. You have successfully returned to the planet's surface. Excellent decision making, gentlemen. We must celebrate your first successful spelunking expedition. You've gathered a large amount of data that needs in-depth analysis. I shall send a report back to the president tonight detailing your progress. This is a new cutscene apparently. Alamo and Louie, since you will explore a new area tomorrow, today's work is done. What? You still want to work? Unacceptable! You may not realize it, but you are exhausted. You should take a much needed rest, as you have all the time you need to collect treasure. A uh, haste makes waste, so take it slow and steady. What complaint that people have about pick of one is the time limit. Uh, be, because, you know, they don't want to be under the stress of the time limit to complete the game. Mm. But I think that 30 days, like, with 12 minutes per day, yeah. is far well, too that, generous. I feel like that's, like, the part of the, that's the game. It's, you yeah. are in a time limit. Uh, and, yeah, it's the same as the last one. I, I think that, like, it is impressive if you run out of time to pick one. Mm. Because we completed it in 13 days, and two of those days I was dicking around, and one day I fucked up. Yeah. So I could have completed that playthrough in 10 days. Right. So, like... Okay. So, you suck at Pikmin, you suck at life. And you should make Subscribe. it better. <laughs> By subscribing. Baby steps first, Solomon. Plan well, and don't worry about me. Our debt is with happy Hakate savings alone, after all. Besides, there's nothing left to be possessed, so ha! Sexual joke coming up. Sexual joke? Oh, <laughs> awakening one. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, can you do it? Maybe I don't know exactly what you're saying. Amy in this place. Okay. This is when the real game begins. Oh, wow. Okay. The first cutscene. 
Good morning. It should please you to know the purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hole. The confines of my interior seems to suit them perfectly, though they do not occasionally tickle they me. Do. They too occasionally tickle me. Stand in the ring of light below me and press uh, uh, to call the purple Pikmin out. On a strict time limit now. Really? Yep. To do what I want to do. Mm. Yes. That's right. Get everybody over here. Get over here. Alright. Louis, has Alamo instructed you on the peculiarities of the Pikmin creatures? The Pikmin form groups based on color when disbanded with. Ah. Grabbing Pikmin with. You! We've also caused them the group by color. Now, for the bonus lecture lesson. First, press and hold. Ah! To pick up a Pikmin. Man, while you hold. Uh, press. Ah! To swap between different colored Pikmin. This is the first time you have heard this. Alamar, remember to properly train new employees. Thanks. Give me the nectar. Give me the nectar. Give me the nectar. Give me the nectar. Give me, the Give me the all spark. Yes. Yes. Bring me the all spark. Yes, the nectar. The Pikmin that drank the yellow nectar instantly matured into flower Pikmin. It appears to have enhanced motor skills. What a wondrous nectar. How intriguing. Like plants, Pikmin mature from leaf to bud to flower. Captain Olimar, you must share the information you have with your subordinate, Louis. Oh, no. Did I get everybody? <laughs> I don't believe I got. <gasps> I want that purple to get that. Okay. If you vets didn't get it, that's fine. Okay. Uh, purple has been able to stun enemies. Except for that one. He stunned it for a second, but, you know. I suck at the game, so. Go <laughs> get that strawberry. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. You know what? Fruit, I think that's is completely overrated. Strawberries, I think strawberries are completely overrated. Overrated, huh? Yep. Like you like them, but just think they're overrated, or you think they're bad? No, I think they're bad. I mean, really? who says that a film is overrated? Likes the film. Well, I think like The Wolf of Wall Street's overrated, but like I don't think it's a bad movie. Like, what do you consider to be? Like a, like a, like a, like a 70? Uh, no, 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 I, I think the, I think it's like a solid 88, but it's just like, people make it up to be like, oh, this might be Scorsese's best, and like, it's so good, but like, I just don't get anything out of it really, like, I'm sure there's good scenes, it's like, crazy to watch, but like, I don't know, I just like, struggle to like, really like, understand anything more than just the fact that it's just kind of bonkers. You know what I mean? But like, I don't think it's bad, but I do think it's overrated because people will be like, yeah, oh, Wolf of Wall Street, fantastic. I mean, this is just, this is, it might be Scorsese's best. I'm like, shut the fuck up, dude. What is Scorsese's best? Scorsese's best is Goodfellas. Goodfellas, okay. Yes. Outstanding. This red berry contains a It's astounding, bro. Outstanding! <laughs> it's astounding. <laughs> <clears throat> Astounding! Astounding! 
<laughs> this a red berry contains. They're the same wood. No. This red berry contains an ultra spicy. The time is about to go out. Also spicy essence. It does not appear there to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me another specimen. Okay. And we'll do that. On the next episode. Fuck, they got ourselves a fucking berry. This is the sun scene berry. See, I, I sun will, seeds berry. Here's what I'll say about strawberries, man. Boom, boom. If if you if they are very like temperamental, like if you don't get like a good batch, I totally get thinking that. But I feel like if you get like a good summer batch of strawberries, they're so good, bro. I think the flavor is just too much. The seeds are just like too a temperature. Much. Too much. Yeah, too much. Whoa, well, so like, what's your favorite fruit? Probably banana. Wow, okay, wow, I've learned so much about you. Banana. Banana? Yeah. Damn, okay, okay. Alright. Goodbye, everybody! Oh, uh, make sure to like and subscribe to that bell to be notified of the time we upload, which is... Every single day. Alright, good, good, goodbye, now get out of here.